Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Obama Nation. That's this nation run by Barack Hussein Obama. Now, I'm a little upset at some of these so-called Republicans, in which I've put their names in my description and what state they're from. Okay, now what happened? Well, Friday, check this is Monday, okay, Friday, there was a vote on closure, yeah, which would have, would, have, would have taken the power away from the Democrats from passing this Obama Garrett using just party lines. They would actually need some Republicans to vote on their side. They would need what you call a super majority. Okay? But there are certain re Republicans that did not, for some reason, support that issue. In other words, they voted with the Democrats to allow them to pass certain shit with simple majorities. Whether or not they said to their constituents that they are opposed to this so-called Obamacare or Affordable Care Act, even though they said they were going to help defund it, help stop it, help de delay it, do whatever it takes to stop this Obamacare because it's such a bad law, they voted to allow the Democrats to pass in the Senate using a simple majority. Now, this wouldn't have been possible without these 25 Democrats voting with them. But the reason they did this is so that they don't step on Obama's toes. They can go back to their cities, their, their constituents, and say, yeah, I voted against it. But it passed anyways because the Democrats had a majority. They voted down party lines, they passed it. But that wouldn't be possible if it wasn't for that cloture that they voted for, right? These are people who are supposed to be Republicans. Now, in the Senate, we have two groups right now. We have, the, I call them the Cruz uh, group and the rest of them. Why? Because Ted Cruz actually has the balls to stand by what he believes and what he said he's going to do. And when it comes to doing what he can to educate us and stopping Obamacare. And then we have the other people that say, well, we have a difference in uh, tactics. Our tactic is just to say we're going to do things to do it, stop it. But actually, we're not really going to do anything. We're going to vote against it. But since we don't have the majority, we know as long as we, we, can, we can vote against it all we want. It don't matter. We don't have the majority. Right, and if there is a point where they need a simple major, a, a super majority, no, no, we don't want them to need that, because then I will have to vote for Obamacare, and then my constituents will see that I voted for Obamacare. But this way, I can still I can still put out the facade, the lie that I'm against it, right, and still have it implemented on the American people, even though Republicans or Democrats, whoever you are, whether you voted for it or against it for the American people, you don't want it for yourself. Hmm. And even though you're going to lie about the situation. Well, anyways, I'm not going to go through the whole freaking thing again. But I'm going to tell you, these 25 people in my description below, Republicans betray their principles. They betray the Republican Party on Friday. And this is why we're going through this back and forth on Monday. Okay? Anyways... And if you still think that the Republicans are at fault for shutting down the government, then you're a dumbass. Because it's the president who says, I, you don't pass my uh, health care bill that has nothing to do with anything else. I'm not going to fund the government. Well, uh, oh, so who's actually holding the government and the funding of the government and the shutdown? Who's holding that hostage? It's the president. Because the Republicans have agreed to fund everything else. Everything else but to defund Obamacare, not the whole thing, just delay it until it's fixed. But Obama said, oh, no, that's not happening. I'm not going to pay shit else unless you pay for my Obamacare. Okay? Fuck, I'm so upset. Anyways, I hope you fucking look at my the description below, see if those senators are from your fucking state, and then uh, give them a call and tell them how disappointed you are for betraying their fucking principles. Anyways, I'll talk to you guys later.